Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Let's also add on to this issue, Honorable uh, Minister, of, uh, of course, the, the, the rule of law in Zambia. Just uh, last week, we also read um, a very long statement that came from the, 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 the OCDA as well. They have been speaking to the same issues. Your government has been accused that your government is, number one, arrogant. Your government seems not to be listening to, not to be willing to listen to critical voices. You only want to listen to yourselves. Among the issues they brought in, was the matter of uh, the rule of law as well and also the happening in the patriotic front. Osida was clear that your government seemed to be the one sponsoring the confusion in the former ruling party. <laughs> you know, Zed, you are making my day right now. <laughs> now, let me be serious on this uh, particular issue. Firstly, um, New Dawn administration has nothing to do with uh, the happenings in the Patriotic Front. You may re wish to recall that Mr. Mao Samba wanted to become president of PF from as far early as 2015. In fact, 2014, when uh, Mr. Michael Sata, you know, uh, when we lost Mr. Michael Sata, may he saw rest in peace. Now, are you telling me that it was UPND sponsoring Mr. Mao Samba? in 2015, when PF were in government and Mr. Mao Samba wanted to be president? No. So this is a person who has always wanted to become president of the Patriotic Front. And from the way they are, you know, in fact, I'm getting very surprised that we must be made to answer for the confusion that is happening in a political party, which is an intra-party issue. We have no business in PF. Look, innocent, we were in the opposition ourselves for many, many years. We had a situation where after elections, uh, the, the government would poach a number of our MPs. I recall in 2003 that uh, President Mwanawasa, may he so rest in peace, poached, I think, about eight MPs at once, if not more. Did they did we cry foul? You recall also, uh, not too long ago, uh, that uh, once uh, PF uh, were declared we opposition, we held together, we were disciplined. We had issues of Bill 10, where they were busy looking for people to vote with them. Because we were disciplined, we had a vision for country. We held together as united. Why is it that whenever PF have problems, then people must join all over to begin to mourn with them? Why mourn with people like that? Hmm. Today I don't let, want let, to call let, them let, names. Let's look at the away. signs, Honorable Minister. Let, let's look at these signs and uh, the, you know, the possible evidence that points fingers at your, your administration of having gone to bed on, with Honorable Mao Sampa. And I'll quote a letter which was issued by OSIDA here. One of the bullets that I've highlighted is that there is a decreasing confidence in the judiciary and uh, uh, they, they appeal to the, to the Chief Justice, Honorable Mumba Malira, to, uh, to, to quickly get involved. On number two, they are saying we call on the Chief Justice, Dr. Mumba Malira, to take keen interest in the cases they have, uh, the, in the cases which are critical in nature. Now, number three, that's what, where I want you now to take note of this. He's saying, the OCDA, they are saying, we are gravely concerned with the conduct of the judiciary in, in political sensitive cases involving the main opposition political party, uh, PF, and Mr. Mao Sampa, including the one which stems 
uh, from what they call illegal convention that was facilitated by the state on the 24th of October 2023. So, OSIDA here is not missing the words. They are saying this illegal convention was facilitated by you, the state. May, but of course, maybe if you may, I want to argue. My question I have to you, what was it I saying by facilitating this illegal convention which has been described in this manner is that who sent those police officers to go and man the illegal convention according to OSIDA on that particular day? And that was a busy day, that was the 24th of, of October, which was independence. How did Honorable Mao Sampa and his team manage to have his fair share of the police officers? And who paid those police officers because when they were on duty, those, if at all there were some allowances? Thank you very much, uh, Innocent, for that uh, question. And I'll answer it squarely and fair. Please call Mr. Mao Sampa and ask him to answer those questions. Because me, I was not there. We in government, we were not there. We don't know. Ask the ones who are involved, they will tell you whether they wrote to ask for police presence, I'm sure they have documentation. You are asking me to answer for a club affair. Me, I can only answer for UPND party and for UPND government. Not those are your police officers, Ask Minister. Me. Honorable Minister, those are your police officers. All the police officers belong to the government of Zambia and the man in charge of the Republic of Zambia or the government is you who speak on behalf of the government. So you can't run away, you can't escape to say, go and ask Honorable Mao Sampa. My question is, I'm asking you, who allowed those police officers to go and demand that convention? And who paid them? Let me, let me, let me make it easier for you, uh, Innocent, because you, you are lucky you have me in this situation, because I'm a policeman myself, eh? I know how the police works very well. The police, if you are going to have a wedding, uh, innocent, you can write to the nearest police station, the officer in charge, requesting for police motorcade to escort you for that wedding. If you want police to man a private event, you write to them and say, we request for such a number of police officers, we have such, such a function, and we are going to pay them allowances. Whenever police are going to do something which is away from normal duty of government, the one who has invited them pays them. The same way when you find police are manning a bit at a bank, just know that the bank is the one paying the, the, those police officers at that bit. Allowances, that is how police works. If you want to try it tomorrow, write to police and say we want uh, police officers to come and be money KBN. They will come and start providing security at KBN, and they will be charging you. Don't That's you, don't you think, Asking Honorable Minister, way. that, uh, Honorable Minister, don't you think this is the, you know, what many citizens have described as the hypocrisy from your end in the manner you are doing things? Because on a busy day, like Independence Day, when Zambians or when the police officers were anticipated to be more busier than a normal day, Honorable Mao Sampa, or this opposition leader managed to have his fair share of the police officers on a busy day, Honorable Minister. Let's just pause a little bit and answer that question. But when the opposition apply or notify the police to have a rally on a normal day, a not busy day, you are saying the police are busy or the situation is not okay in the country. Don't you think that's the hypocrisy which Zambians or some Zambians have talked about? Well, first of all, I don't know what you're talking about here. What do you mean hypocrisy? I need to understand. Innocent, what do you mean? What I mean, Honorable Minister, is that we've seen the opposition political party leaders or political parties in this country who have attempted to have public rallies on a normal day when the country is not busy. There are no public functions whatsoever. And I've been told that the police officers are busy or we don't have enough manpower to come and police your, your event. And then Independence Day comes, a busy day. They, this opposition political party leader manages 
to have a fair share of his function in the name of Hone Mao Sampa. Is this not the hypocrisy or the double standards which Zambians have talked about? Not long ag again, we also saw Hone Mao Sampa being received by the battalion of police officers at the airport when he was arriving from South Africa. All these are examples. These are things that I, you know, lingering in the minds of the people. That's what I mean, Honorable Minister. First of all, let me put uh, this matter into uh, perspective. Number one, that it is not government policy and position to deny opposition their space to do their politics. And going forward, the government position is very clear. We want our citizens to enjoy the rights as enshrined in the Constitution. What we saw as wrong in the opposition cannot all of a sudden become right now that we are in government. That is government position. And the president is determined to ensure that uh, we continue to govern on the basis of the rule of law. Number two, when you talk about Mr. Mayo Sampa, you know, being received by police, I want to indicate maybe uh, you're asking me too much that I should. But I will tell you that uh, Mr. Mayo Sampa, just like uh, many of the colleagues uh, in PDF, we are friends. And those who are in PF, they know the number of threats at the life of Mr. Mao Sampa that he has received. And it is him at his own behest who requested for protection as a lawmaker that in view of these threats, and remember this, when you, when you want this police protection, you, you, know, you, don't, you don't come to, to me or to go to Honorable Jackie Mwimbu. No, you write to police to say there is this security threat. I need help. Because the mandate of the police is just to one, to, to one, to preserve life of uh, citizens. Number two is to to protect property by maintaining law and order in the country. So if you yourself there, you feel threatened, you have a barrage of uh, messages on your WhatsApp, people threatening you to say, this move which you have done, we are going to do this and this and this to you. You are at liberty to write to police and police will give you protection because you are a citizen. We should not politicize everything, including things that are straightforward. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.